Greetings and welcome to the Swap Page One HQ Guide to Creating Seamless Looping Audio Files for PSP Homebrew Applications and PlayStation 1 to PSP Converts. First of all, we need three pieces of software the AtTrack 3 codec from Sony, Gold Wave, a sound editor which we shall be using as an audio converter, and the GWAT 3 program which allows us to add the loop in the first place. First of all, I've assumed that, you, that you've extracted and installed everything, so first of all, go to the AtTrack 3 codec installer. You'll see a file which is the AtTrack3.inf. Right click on him and select install. Windows will come up with a message saying that you're trying to install some unrecognized hardware, but this is OK, so click continue anyway and this would have just installed the codec. Very quick, very simple. Now go into Gold Wave. You'll see a message if you're just using the free trial version, so to speak, so hit OK. And go Open. And now go to the file which you're going to use, which, which in my case is going to be this one here. Make sure this is saved in either a WAV or MP3, something which Gold Wave can read. This is one I've previously edited in a program called Audio C, which, in my personal opinion, is a better sound editor than this one, but again, that's my personal opinion. But now we go File, Save As. Now save this as SND0, all capitals. Save it as a WAV file still, and change the attributes down to AtTrack. 366 kilobits per second stereo. This is an absolute must. It does, you have to stick with the 66 kilobits per second and with AtTrack 3. Now save that. So, yep, that's all done. So close Gold Wave. Now open up the location where you saved your SND0.wave. In my case, it's here. And now open up the GWAT3.exe. This is standalone exe, so there should be no problems. Now, while we're here, we've got to change the file extension of our game boot sound from WAV, which is WAV, to AT3. Who will say yes, like you're trying to change a file name extension, yes. And also you will have that there. Now drag and drop him. Into, into the PSP Goldwave AT3 looping software, or GWAT3. It will sort of tell you what the input is, what the output is. The output's always in the same location as your input. And you select Goldwave because it can detect that this is the software used to create it. So hit Goldwave, set insert sample loop done, OK, and exit. Now we have that there, so there's no longer a need to have sound.83 and now rename that so you don't have the word looped dash in front of it. And there's your AT3 file. You can now use that to insert into your PS1 games when you're creating them. You can also put this into the save folder if you wish to add music to your save files. And you can also use a program such as PSP Brew to add sound files to your homebrew programs. And in a moment I shall show you the final result of a Final Fantasy VII save file which includes this file. Okay, now I'm going to show you the looping sound file for the PSP. As you can see I've got a nice pretty theme. And please note, in order to do this you require a custom firmware such as this one. This one is custom firmware 3.71 from Team M33. And now I shall show you the actual sound file. In this case I've just put it into the save folder just for easy use. And here we go. This one lasts for approximately 40 seconds so I'll let you know when we're coming up to the loop.
Okay, here's the loop coming up here. And as you can see, there was no stopping, no pause. It just keeps on playing. And this is what we want. So, in conclusion, there you go. This is a seamless looping audio file for PlayStation Homebrew save files and PlayStation 1 to PSP game converts. This is Swap Angel 1 signing off for this tutorial.